Hi guys, it's me Heather again. I've decided to post another video. This time I'm not going to be as angry. Earlier I was really, really agitated and I had already thought about the three videos I wanted to post. Actually it's going to end up being four it looks like. So this, this video right now is going to be about when I actually feel like I truly got targeted before I got implanted and the voice of the skulls started, etc. Like all the really nasty, nasty business started. Um, it was actually when we moved into this house, which was a long time ago, okay? So right away after we moved into this house, my parents noticed that the neighbors next to us, who of course had already lived here before we moved in, were actually looking at them through their bathroom windows. So they went and bought curtains. So anyways, like we always noticed that they were kind of creepy and like peeping Tom sort of. All right, so I, I really think that they've been watching us the whole time, okay? Um, this one time when I was 19, when I went outside to put some oil or some water in my in my car before I left, um, the old guy from next door like came over to me and he asked me if I wanted any help and I just got like a super creepy vibe off of him. So I was like, no, no thanks, I, I got it, I got it handled, right? So, anyways, uh, let's see, back in 2012, I noticed that our sprinklers were going off at weird times during the night. And then I figured out that um, the boards over in our fence were moved where our anti-siphon valves were. So anyways, I ended up figuring out that our neighbors were stealing our water at night and they were actually growing marijuana with it too, which was crazy. So that that pissed me off. That was, that was before I got shipped and stuff. Anyways, I just wanted to bring that up too. And then um, also, so, all right, so after, see, I can't remember if it was before I got shipped or after, um, but I heard, like, a bunch of noises in my attic, like, like a person, like a full-grown man, like, dragging himself, and I was like, what the hell? It sounds like there's a person up there, right? So, I know there's an entrance to the attic in my, in my parents' room, right? So, I went into their room, and I got up into their attic, and it looked all clean, nothing in there, no, no, like, rotting corpses crawling around or anything like that, nothing in there. But when I got up there, I did notice that the attic didn't go all the way back to my side of the house where my room is. So then that's when I realized, wait a minute, there's more attic space above me that I can't access through that, through that attic access, right? So I cleaned out my walk-in closet in my room which is kind of weird because it's a walk-in closet, but then there's like a panel you can take off and then it has a, a, a back closet, right? So I cleaned that out, right? And then I looked up on the wall at the wood and I saw written on it was alternate access to roof. And then I realized at that point that my part of the roof was closed off, right? So that was really weird, all right? And then, uh, more recently, I've, I've heard activity up there and stuff. Um, I'm not going to get too specific on it right now, but I just wanted to bring it up because um, I think another reason why people are targeted is because uh, they have paranormal activity in their house or in their neighborhoods or generally around them that they notice and bring attention to others. In my case, um, my neighbors that lived here, have lived here before us, obviously knew that there was something up there. I know that for a fact. They must have. And um, I'll bring this up more in another, in another video. Excuse me for stuttering. Um, I am, these people have damaged me so much. I mean, my thinking process is just like, oh, it's practically zilch. I mean, my, my first video I posted, oh, I sound so pathetic and damaged. I was just, I've listened to it recently and I'm just like, oh my God, like, you know, thank God that somebody actually encouraged me after I did that video because people like us really need to speak up about this because 
like I've said before, this is this is the most horrible crime ever committed on this planet, and I don't care who these people are or who they're working with or who they're associated with. I mean, they need to be brought down. They're just, they're awful. They're horrible people. And on top of that, I mean, the activity I already had in my house got worse after uh, they implanted me and started blasting me with, you know, all the CMTs and the radiation and the radio frequencies and the electromagnetic waves. I just made it worse. I mean, I, I was already in like a hellhole before this. And then it's just like, they got me at that, that oh so vulnerable moment, you know, where I was already so rattled and exhausted. And shoot, I feel very blessed to be alive still. And I feel very blessed to still have everybody, you know, seriously, everybody and everything. So to all you other targeted individuals out there, stay strong and remember that we are awesome and they're trash, okay? All right, peace out, everybody.